by changing appearances using a plan called crime prevention through environmental design. That's the name of Grand Rapids new initiative to reduce crime. The city's planning department is holding two community meetings today to hear feedback and go over the details of the plan. People are being asked to share their thoughts on that plan. 13 on your side's Nina DeSaro was at this afternoon's meeting. Small business owners, neighborhood associations, and members of the Grand Rapids community want a change. We really like the plan. It's something that we've been waiting for for quite a long time. That's where SEPTED comes in. So crime prevention through environmental design, also known as SEPTED, is about adopting passive strategies to naturally reduce crime and have people feel safe. With help from the community, the Grand Rapids Planning Department is creating several strategies to deter crime from impacting neighborhoods beginning with visibility and making sure that you have clear windows and you can see and be seen. For example, removing posters from liquor store windows. 7-Eleven found that when they did that, their numbers of armed robberies went down. The goal is to make it fair across the board. So trying to make sure everybody has a level playing field, that the new businesses and old businesses that have been there are, you know, we have clear and consistent rules for everybody. We do have businesses in the, in the neighborhood that aren't good players and this would address some of those concerns and it would bring a level of fairness to the entire business district. Annette Vandenberg, the executive director for the West Grand Neighborhood Organization, is hopeful this will keep crime out of the neighborhood. This will help deter crime and we've seen it already happen like with Family Pantry. They, uh, on their own before this ordinance came into place, they just said, you know what, we want to clean up the neighborhood and we want to be proactive and they redid it and they reduced crime by 20%. This future ordinance will also set the tone when marijuana businesses begin to open. The system was complaint based and this will remove the complaint based system for businesses and move it to an area where we're being proactive versus reactive, which an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. The next step is to meet with other chambers of commerce and associations for more feedback before drafting an ordinance for city commissioners to adopt. In Grand Rapids, I'm Nina DeSaro, 13 on your side. The second community meeting starts in just about 25 minutes at 630. It is at the city's development center on Monroe Avenue.